In this video, I've got a quick review and tasting of Cornish Rocks White Espresso Rum. Hey Spiced Rum fans, I am Steve the Barman and I'm hoping these videos help you drink, serve and enjoy your favourite spiced and flavoured rums even more. In this video, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. This is Cornish Rocks uh, White, I was going to go White Espresso Rum. Uh, Cornish Rock are a kind of a distillery, obviously based in Cornwall. And uh, if you don't know where Rock is, Rock is famous for and um, kind of Doombar territory as well. Sharps, Doombar, uh, the beer and that, but it's sort of opposite the estuary, Camo estuary to um, Padstow, Rick Stein territory is that kind of neck of the woods. Um, called the Rock Distillery, they've got, I think it's either five or six gins. Um, and so they kind of started off with, with their gin, um, but now they've got two rums. They've got a spiced rum and they've got this. And I was got, I should have gone for the spiced rum, but this took my eye. Um, so I've gone for the White Espresso Rum. Now this variant was launched in uh, 2019 as well, so it's quite a new one. Uh, to the market, they Cornish Rock, they distill themselves, they do distill uh, their own rum, so I've been told, so a big, uh, big sort of clap for that one, there's no importing from the Caribbean, there's no Caribbean rums or anything in there, uh, it's just kind of in, uh, kind of distilled in-house in rock. So let's just read you the back of the bottle, a uh, blend of rum with co with espresso coffee from uh, Kenya, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. Uh, our white espresso rum is made in North Cornwall and distilled by hand in small batches. It is then enhanced uh, by a serious espresso coffee grown by our nephew in Kenya. That's what I was going to tell you. And flown to us direct, uh, fresh from roasting, and then distilled with our rum uh, until we achieve a pure white rum. So the espresso beans are in the base, the base, uh, the base rum that's distilled. Um, so you're getting kind, of very much gin influence this one. Uh, obviously without the gin botanicals, but how it's made is very much kind of like that. Uh, it's a 40 percenter. I'm kind of right in saying, yeah, it's a 40 percenter. So I don't know, kind of I'm expecting just like a pure rum with a coffee in it, completely different to uh, completely different to a lot of the spiced rums that I've featured already on this channel. Now, not much else to tell you really about it. It's um, Master of Malt is where you can get this from, just under thirty pounds for the bottle. And um, but yeah, it's batch. This is batch number one. And this is bottle number fifty-three. So. Um, yeah, let's crack on. I've not capped this yet, as you can see. So let's see what it smells like. Right, for me, on the nose, there are three, for me, very distinct aromas coming off that. The first one is rum. That is the first thing that hits you, rum, without a shadow of a doubt. And you kind of get those quite odd stuff. I'm not a rum aficionado, so I'm just gonna say a young rum. And there's no aging or anything like that. When you smell an aged rum or, or anything like that, it's nothing like that. It's like a fresh, young rum. That's what I can smell. But then you kind of get the, the espresso, the coffee coming off there, but then subtle hints of chocolate. Um, they are the three, three big aromas I get off that. I'll be honest, I'm not kind of, I can't kind of gauge how this is gonna go in a tasting. I don't think it's gonna be sweet at all. But yeah, very, very sort of rum. Almost, almost what that reminds me of is only purely because I don't, it really sticks in my mind because I don't like it, is an agricultural style of rum. It's kind of what it reminds me of, but I don't know. Let's have a little taste. Right, what does it taste like? I've had a couple of little, a uh, couple of little sips of this. Um, firstly, uh, I kind of had it bang on the money actually. Um, rum uh, has got that that alcohol um, sort of ethanol um, aftertaste to it. It's quite harsh, purely for the lack of sweetness. Sweetness scale, I would go possibly one, one and a half out of five. 
Um, it's really not that sweet at all. So spiced rum fans watching this, um, it's not going to be what you're used to at all. But the one thing I will say, the more it dilutes, the more, so I've got an ice cube in there, the more it dilutes, the more sort of water in that drink, the more those sort of coffee flavours come out and actually kind of breaks away the harshness of the alcohol. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's a harmonious blend. I, for me, I very much get the alcohol and then I kind of get the coffee in there. But once you put, once, I feel, once it's chilled down, once you've got a bit of water in there, uh, that ice cube, um, I actually do think that kind of transforms it and brings it out a little bit. I wouldn't sip that neat without ice, but actually, with, with an ice cube in there, it kind of balances it out and brings it all together. I do get subtle hints of uh, sort of chocolate coming off there, but it's very, very subtle, very minute. Certainly on the finish, I get big, bold coffee notes on the finish. Dang, could, but I'll tell you what, the one use for that, and that might be a bit harsh because I'm, I'm going to have a play about with mixers in that. The one big use for that is going to be uh, kind of an espresso martini or espresso rum teeny. So yeah, very, very interesting this. This is definitely this is definitely one that for the rum fans as opposed to the sort of sweeter spiced rum fans. Definitely 100%. Um, for me, I'll be honest, I'm not overly convinced by it. it. I don't think it's something that I could enjoy. Right then, what can you uh, what can you use that with as long mixed drinks, highball, simple serves? Um, I'll be honest, I did actually struggle for this. I think it's purely because the lack of sweetness and the big alcohol notes on that kind of did struggle a little bit. I've got a daiquiri. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I have actually tried that. Uh, the first mixer uh, I'm going to go is uh, Coke. Um, I think that is the best way to have it. I haven't tried it as an espresso martini, but that is a given. Uh, that is going to work as an espresso martini. I don't need to try that. That's just an absolute given. And for my money, probably the out and out way to, to use that. But Coke, yeah, pleasant enough. There's just this weird kind of, it's the coffee notes on there. And I, I really do. I don't know how to describe it. The rum fanatics will will kind of let you know even more than what I can. But you've got that sort of agri for me that whole agricole kind of um, tag. And I'm not a huge rum agricole fan at all in the slightest. I don't, yeah, Coke. I think Coke is passable. It, that was the top one. Uh, and then in second place actually uh, was the pineapple because pineapple and coffee. Um, sorry, the tropical soda, which has got pineapple notes in it. Um, again, pineapple coffee, they just kind of work. They go hand in hand to me. So two pleasant ways. Spiced rum fans, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't think that is one for you at all. Uh, but if you love your coffee and you love your rum, uh, definitely, definitely do give it a try. But spiced rum fans, you are going to need a little bit more sweetness for that. That doesn't carry through for me. Now, daiquiri time. Um, it is there. It is literally, when I get it to my nose, it just puts me off straight away because I've got... I can only... I don't know how to describe it. I can only really call it the agricole kind of nose to it. And that's what really puts me off. I get the um, I, I, I get the coffee on there as well. It works. Taste-wise, it works as a daiquiri. That is very nice. It's just the smell. I can't... For me personally, I can't get it on my nose. So, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm really sorry Cornish Rock. I'm patriotic, I'm Cornish. I'm really, really sorry. I will give you the spiced rum. I will give that a go uh, in a month or so's time. For this one, for me though, I think for me, the rest of the bottle is just gonna get rolled out um, as espresso martinis or espresso rum martinis. So, if you've tried it, and if you've got any other interesting serves, then let me know. But I literally went through everything. Uh, my gingers, my Cokes, my fruity stuff. Um, and for me, I couldn't find anything as uh, a highball. It's just, as I say, it's just the nose. I can't, I can't.
can't get it. My nose is telling me that I'm not going to like it before I even taste it. And, that, and that's all it is. So I'm really sorry, Cornish Rock. That's not one for me, I'm afraid. Really not.